Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how to create Avery labels from your catalog of data. So I'm starting out here in my artwork folder, but you can use, of course, any folder. Or you can use the results of a search, for instance, or even from any particular entry. I'm actually going to start out here from the Actions menu, these three dots here in the corner. I'm going to select Print and Table, and this is to extract the data that I want to appear in my label. So I want this to be a pretty basic label here. I'm going to unselect most of these other items here. I'm just going to have this show my object ID and my name, but I also wanted to inc include a QR code. So I'm going to click this drop-down menu up here at the top, and I can include the QR code directly, but Avery actually won't import that image of the QR code. So instead, I'm going to actually bring in the URL for the QR code. And notice I have a couple of different URLs here. One is uh, the entry URL, which is my internal URL. That means it's accessible to the people that have access to my account with the login. Uh, in this case, I'm also publishing this collection to the internet, so I can, if I needed to include the public URL, I can do that as well and create the public QR code. I'm ready to go here, so now I'm going to click my little download cloud and download this data directly to Excel. It's all done. I'm going to close out of this. And now I'm going to leave my catalog account and go to my Avery account. So Avery, you can go to avery.com and create yourself a free account. It's a simple, easy process, and it'll be something you'll be probably using a lot going forward here. So when you go to Avery, uh, you can hover over this templates area and then select Avery Design and Print. And then just follow the prompts. Start designing. Now Avery has a large number of different types of labels here. So you want to select the label that you're going to be using. In this case, I'm using this 5137. It's a pretty common shipping label size. Uh, I want to use a blank one. I'm going to use this blank landscape label here. And there we go. So now I'm ready to start importing my data here. So I'm going to click from this left-hand side here, Import Data Mail Merge, and Start. I'm going to browse for my Excel file that I just created in my finder here. It's named for my folder, Artwork. And Avery allows you to uncheck this top bar here, which means you, you're not creating a label named with your uh, column headers. So I'm going to select Next now. And I'm ready to start arranging how these fields are going to appear on the label here. So I'm going to start with just the title and the object ID is a simple label. I'm going to click Next and click Finish. And I've got my data in, but I want to bring in that QR code information as well here. So I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to click these three dots now and select More. And then come down here and select the QR and barcodes. And then click the button here to add the QR, the barcode to the QR code. Uh, I'm not going to be entering this manually. I'm going to bring it in for my spreadsheet. So I'm going to click that button there, select Next. And now I can start to create my barcodes here. So what's the format? To select from this drop-down list, I'm going to select QR code. Uh, what type of code is it? It's actually a URL. And the website, I can actually just drag this data field uh, into there and that will create those uh, unique QR codes from my uh, spreadsheet. And I'm going to click Finish, and there it is. I can now arrange how these. I want these to appear on my spreadsheet. I can move this little the QR code, for instance, down there and make it larger. Uh, but that's it. That's how you create your labels with, uh, with uh, Catalog. It. I can print, preview and print now. I can print this to a, a PDF and then uh, put my label sheet into my printer and print out my sheet of labels here.